My nights usually kick off around 7 p.m. First thing, I pour myself a cold coke. Kind of like my little ritual before diving in. Look, it's nothing fancy, but it's the small routines that get me in the zone. Once that's done, it's straight into study mode. I generally like studying stuff in the early part of the night because I'm still pretty awake, not drained out, and it helps me retain a lot of things. So that's pretty much my go-to strategy with the nights that I'm studying. Right now, I'm brushing up on SSL decryption with Palo Alto using Keith Barker's videos. If you're into cybersecurity, especially network security, you already know that Keith makes even the complicated stuff feel approachable. But for me, just watching isn't enough. I grab my notebook and start scribbling things down as I go. Writing it out helps me lock in the concepts so when I'm in front of an actual firewall, I'm not just recalling theory, rather I'm ready to apply it. Coming back to SSL decryption. It's basically the process of letting security tools see inside encrypted traffic so you can spot threats hiding in what otherwise looks like normal HTTPS. I study it so I can tell the difference between normal encrypted traffic and something sneaky and to make sure decryption is done safely and with privacy in mind. The goal isn't to break people's privacy, it's to protect networks, inspect, find malware or misconfigurations, then re-encrypt and move on. On next generation firewalls today, you've also got the capabilities to now decrypt SSH traffic. So it's a lot of fun and pretty interesting at the same time. And because I hate sitting in one spot all night, I set up my standing desk with the walking pad going underneath it. It keeps me moving while I'm reading through the official guides. Honestly, it's a game changer. I stay awake, I stay focused and it feels like I'm literally walking through the materials as I learn it. So between the coke, the notes, and the steady rhythm of the walking pad, this is how my night really begins. Active, focused, and already deep into the craft. After wrapping up that first study block, it's usually time for dinner. I try to keep it simple and clean because honestly, if I don't, I just crash way too fast. Tonight I'm putting together a pasta salad with some chicken. Nothing fancy. Just a good balance of carbs and protein to keep me fueled for the rest of the night. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect with this. I definitely give in to junk food more often than I'd like. But when I can, I try to keep it on the healthier side. Because cybersecurity nights can get long and I need that steady energy. I'm now going to give it a good little mix. Once that's done, grab our chicken and off we go. Once the salad's done, I bring it over to my desk, throw on some football and just relax for a bit while I eat. It's my kind of reset moment, recharging before I dive back into the technical grind. I've been meaning to get a hardware VPN for my home network for a while now and that's when I decided to get the Deeper Connect Mini and the Deeper Connect Air. This is a decentralized private network and when you want to set it up, as you can see, a quick connect, you connect the modem, you plug it into your home router and what you can then do is you can set it up in two modes. You've either got a smart route mode or a full route mode. In smart route, specific traffic goes through specific region tunnels, whereas in full route, you can select a specific region server and all your traffic then goes through that specific tunnel only. In this case, I'm setting up North America. Once that's done, I'm going to quickly go to watch my IP address and see. There you go. I've got an IP address, which is a public IP in New York. Now I'm showing you the Deeper Connect Air. This device can plug into your laptop directly on a USB-C port or using a USB adapter. Once you plug it in, you connect to the SSID that's broadcast by the device. And once you do that, you should then be able to log in. Logging in is using default credentials. And once you're in, it'll then ask you to scan for nearby networks. And what this is used for is, let's say you want to connect to a public Wi-Fi network, which is unsecure. 
you can with peace of mind connect to that wi-fi network and all your traffic will then be encrypted by the deeper connect air so in this case i'm just waiting for the connection to be established to um, a wi-fi network that i've just spun up at home so we'll probably give that a couple of minutes till it boots up but it's a great device to have and um, as a cybersecurity professional especially um, having so much of emphasis on security it's great to have once you're in as you can see we just go into the dpn settings um, once you're in the dpn settings once again you've got the mode and the tunnel options with modes you've got either the smart route or the full route mode and with the tunnels as well you've got a ton of regions and you can add your own regions as well what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set up full route and i'm going to demonstrate connecting to canada so once that's done i will just head over to what's my ip and refresh this page and give it a minute there you go boom it shows that we're connected to canada so it's a great little device and it's good to have and i'm just going to spend some time playing around with this and troubleshooting it a bit more Once I'm done with setting up the VPN, I then jump into some hack the box labs. This is where I really get hands on because in cybersecurity, you don't really learn until you actually practice it yourself. Tonight, I'm focusing on SQL injections. I've read about it, but doing it in a lab helps me actually understand how it works and how to defend against it. I throw on some Pink Floyd, maybe a little bit of Led Zeppelin in the background and just zone in. Music keeps me relaxed while I try, fail, and figure things out. Look, it's all part of the process. For me, labs aren't just about passing time. In fact, they're the best way to connect the dots between theory and the real world. By the time I finish up with the labs, it's already around 1 in the morning. At that point, my brain's done for the night. So I like to switch it up and play a little bit of FIFA. Just an hour of gaming helps me relax and shake off the intensity from studying. Once that's out of my system, it's straight to bed. Around 2 a.m. I finally shut everything down and call it a night, ready to do it all over again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.